The boys and I are back at the lot auction and it is a windstorm out here. If you caught our fall auction video at this same lot. Let's roll boys. Oh yeah. First time driving the bus? This is my first time to drive the school bus. We actually bought a school bus or the spring auction rather. Now it's the fall auction. And I don't think I'm interested in this camper, but I guess Jack is. There's a cool stove in there we can use for the bus. Oh! <laughs> That's a dusty I, stove. I do like the color of that stove. I don't think I'm interested in this camper. What about you, AJ? No. It doesn't smell that good. <laughs> it doesn't smell that good. All right, next. Let's go look at the new white bus they have. There is a giant bus over there. We drive by this lot every day, and AJ's been wanting to stop and look at this white bus for a while. <laughs> this sucker is big. I bet it's every bit of 43, 44 feet long. So this is a pusher. It's got the engine in the back. It's not like ours where we got the engine in the front. It has like a, it has a car trunk. Oh, Holy crap. Dang, it, there's so much storage in there. I don't know if that's showing up, but that is a ton of storage. This isn't a bus. It's a full made schoolie. Oh, it's already kind of converted. Yeah. This is a coach. Give us the tour, AJ. Tell us what you see. I see these. Oh. I see cup holders. I see. Ugh. What is that from? Oh. Dang, this thing is pretty cool. I see awesomeness. I wonder if it runs. What? There's a bed right here. Yeah, that's my bed. This is a tour bus. Yeah. Oh. Bathroom. We're, this is the end of the journey. <laughs> Wait, thought... is there a shower? No, just a toilet. So we've got like a kitchenette or just a sink, refrigerator, one little bed, and then the couches. What did you find? This. On a cup holder? No. I can't get the odometer to come on. That's a speaker. Maybe they'll have the keys in it tomorrow. Yeah. It does have air brakes. It'd be big rigging. Oh, we got an air ride seat. <laughs> <laughs> we need this seat in our bus. I know. What do you guys think? We should buy it. We should buy, buy it. it. And yeah, sell our other bus. Because we won't have to raise the roof or anything. Mm. It's, it's pretty much good to go. There's so much more room. I agree. Let's continue on our journey. Hopefully it doesn't go for Let's like go look in that bus. Grand. That door needs some oil. Alright, back in the windstorm. Let's see what else we can find. What about this big block Chevy? Yeah. Two of them. We got another big block right here. Put that in the Ranchero. We could. Jeez, thing is stuck tight. Nope, oh. it moved. There it went. Can you get that running? I bet we can. We bid on that one. Thirty-six. We're looking at these blocks here. Everything's kind of scattered. We can't tell what goes to what. I noticed this uh, Buick Olds Pontiac bell housing on this one. We ran the numbers on it. This is a four hundred Pontiac has all new freeze plugs in it. Looks like it was freshly machined, but it's really got a ton of surface rust on it now. Definitely saveable, I just don't know. We'd have to figure out where the heads are to it. I found the piston. AJ found the piston for it. If this goes dirt cheap, we may just go ahead and pick it up. Maybe we could find us a old GTO or something to put it in. Looking at this other bus, what do you think, Dad? It says it's not running. It's got a 6.5 diesel in it. Oh I don't think God. I want to work on that one. Yeah, I can't even see the engine. So the engine's pretty much under the dash. I'm assuming there's got to be some kind of access. Inside? Oh, inside. 
Oh. Not much of one. No. Right there. They've already got the computer down on it. I think we better steer clear of this one. We just found this old toolbox. This is really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Do your wipers streak your windshield? Blur your vision, slow, slow you down. down, let us refill or replace them today. That is a cool toolbox. Yeah. Anko. Anko by Anderson. Get you there sooner and safer. Oh, it's even got, see so you can measure your wipers right here. Use this measure for blade length. That's awesome. That's awesome. We may bid on that. I just found this. I was like, what in the world? It's on the same pallet that that cool toolbox is. I think this is a boot stretcher or a shoe stretcher. <laughs> Never seen anything like we that. We need that for your shoes. I know. Your feet are growing so fast we can stretch your shoes out. We could use some of these for the shop. That is a big Phillips 66 sign. And this one's even bigger. Dad. These are the ones from our old shop in Woodward, I'm telling you. We used to rent a shop that I think these shop, these signs came from. Because it had these that big one and he's sitting beside it, remember? Yeah. We got a big G. Yeah. What's this? A and M? That's a Kerr McGee sign. Oh. Check out this semi. I don't really want a semi, but this paint is kind of interesting. It changes colors. A uh, light pink. They used to, I think DuPont used to call that Chrome Illusion. I don't know if that's still what it is. Jack thinks he needs his tractor. <laughs> it's a Yanmar. Yeah, AJ likes the green one better. A little John Deere 2020. And they have the shade roof. Yeah, that would be handy. I need a shade roof like that on my tractor. Polaris? Yeah. I kind of like this little Bronco. It's a little rough. But the inside of it's not too bad. It's really similar to the 88 F-150 that I drive every day. Yeah. And I was looking over at wheat trucks and nobody um, must have not been interested in that one in Tepaho. I think that one sold at the spring auction that we came to. It's back again. A little whiskey dent there. This would be a fun little toy. Yeah. Jack wants a street sweeper. Be cool. Would be a cool little side hustle. Sweet parking lots. Yeah. Oh. I don't know a thing about working on this. You're gonna have to learn how to fix it. Oh, there's so many switches. Oh, they're cool. Whoa! Why is there two steering wheels? Two steering wheels and two gas pedals. Yeah. Oh, you can drive it from either side. Oh, no, that's so you can sweep up next to the curves. I'm not here to look at that one, Jack. Oh. I was actually looking at this little square body, but it's a lot rougher than I thought. It's got really nice tires on it, though. It's a little little four-wheel drive. It's got the 6.2 diesel in it. Got some rusty cab corners. Inside of the bed is really beat up. I think this thing's a little ripper though. A ripper? Yeah. I do really love the blue and silver too. 6.2 diesel. This does look <laughs> 600 miles on the tires. Second owner showing 92,000 miles. It'd be a fun little four wheel drive, I guess. I really love the blue and silver. You in or no? Yeah. You want it? Yep. I want, I want this because it has two wheels. AJ still wants the street sweeper. I want this. That is a really cool hood emblem. This thing's got a 427 in it apparently. That is really cool. Yeah. Go. Push, 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 push. Scoot over and push in the middle. Sure enough, it's got a good old 427 big block in it. Oil bath air cleaner. Yep. It's a cool rig. Dad? Yeah, bud. What is that blue thing over there? I'm not sure what that is. Is it fishing for a monster truck? I don't think that's what it is. Holy cow.
Now this thing's nice. The thing about these old wheat trucks, they make excellent cab donors. They don't usually get a lot of miles. You only see them used a few times a year. And typically they're kept in barns. And this one's got a big block in it. You wanna be an over the road trucker? Show us what that sleeper looks like. I wanna see what this sleeper looks like. Yeah. Dang. It's got a lot of room. That bed doesn't look We got some vents right here. The sleeper has seat belts on it. The sleeper doesn't look very comfortable by this the way. Be, this may be hard to drive. We'll have to learn what all these do. Yeah, we're not gonna buy it. We don't have our CDL. What's a CDL? It's a license to drive. So, so many switches. Today's actually the day of the live auction, so we've got it streaming here in the shop. We're gonna be watching our watch list really close and we'll jump on and bid on the things that we're interested in. A lot of what we're interested in is on tomorrow's auction, which is online only, so there won't be a stream like this. It'll just be lots ending. And then if somebody bids on them too close to the end of the auction, it extends them. So the bigger ticket items are today on the live stream. Let's see if we can get something bought. What are you gonna try to buy, Dad? 93 Caprice. Okay. High bid 600. We didn't even look at it at the auction. <laughs> Risky business. Driver's side window doesn't work. It starts. Six hundred. Are you six fifty? Seven twenty five. Six seventy. Seven twenty five. Eight hundred. I have no idea what's going on right now. Is it 850? 900. 900. Do it. I should have bought it. I was really thinking I could get that for 7 or 800. Dang it, Dad. Sold for 900 before. Should've, you should have to give 950. Should have done 950. What about this Jeep, Dad? Oh, it's got a 2007 Chevy Vortex. That's gonna go high. Yeah. It's looking like the only thing left that we're watching is the tractor Jack wanted and then this kind of beat up OBS Chevy. That's the only thing left that ends today. The Bronco sold for 3100 see what else the big bus sold for 3900 probably a pretty good deal on that honestly i don't know what the street sweeper went for because it says lot was passed huh. um the square body blue square body 5700 that's all we had watched on there Oh, the 427, the big block wheat truck sold for 2400. That's honestly probably a pretty big deal. I bet somebody bought that that actually needed a wheat truck. Yeah. Which isn't us. I'm gonna put, what do you give 1100 for it? Yeah, but if, can you still bid after it passes that if it does? Yeah. All right, my tractor's next. It's at $825. It's my Yarmar. Has a cracked head. Go, 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 go. You want it? Sold. Sorry, buddy. I think it would have been a bad idea. Gonna sell fourteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Got a fourteen hundred on it. We have to buy something. That truck is rough. Yeah. 
There it goes. Well, as you guys saw there, the Saturday live auction portion didn't really go our way, and the Sunday auction didn't either. Everything went higher than we wanted to spend. The engine pallets, I thought we could pick up dirt cheap, all went surprisingly high, and I didn't have enough time to research what we actually were looking at. So that's my fault for not being prepared for the auction. And I was trying to decide whether we're going to scrap this video or not. And I made the decision we're going to keep the video. Mostly because the boys and I have so much fun shopping around the auction and just looking at stuff. But another reason is I came through with a Facebook Marketplace purchase today that I'll give you guys a sneak peek at. And then we'll wrap this video up. It is a 84 Chevy pickup. It is a long bed and it's mostly complete and with the purchase of this truck i think we have everything we need to put together a square body short wide i've purchased another one on the channel and i've been collecting parts for a little over a year and i think with the purchase of this one we're ready to go on that project we're just waiting to have some space in the shop and i don't know time we need more time be looking for this square body on the channel and we will roll the other short wide into the shop and get to work on it but guys thank you so much for watching got you a little sneak peek of the square body that i wouldn't typically show you but we had kind of a bummer of an auction video this time please make sure you're subscribed because the boys and i are going to hit that lot auction again in the fall and i promise you we will not walk away empty-handed thanks again for watching see you next time